This encounter happened 13 years ago, and at the time I was 14 years old. My then best friend lived just down the street from me, and my cousin was dating her older brother, so I basically spent every day at her place. She lived on the fifth floor of a block of flats. It had 18 floors, so more often than not I'd just get on the elevator. On this particular day I was waiting on the elevator, and it was taking a while. Not so unusual. As I said, this building had 18 floors, so sometimes you had to wait a while if other people were using it. While I was waiting, a man entered the building and stood beside me waiting to get on the elevator as well. Not so odd, but something about this guy had me very creeped out. I can't say what about him made me so uneasy looking back, as he seems like just a normal guy. He looked to be in his late 30s or early 40s with short dark hair, medium height and build, short beard and dress well enough, but something about him just seemed off. I could feel his eyes on me as I continued to wait for the elevator. I'm a girl and I've always been small and looked younger than I was. Back then I was lucky if I was even 5 feet, and I looked about 11 or 12. I've had stranger danger and how dangerous people can be drilled into my head since I was little. And while it seems silly to be this terrified of a random man just waiting on an elevator same as me, I decided to still listen to my instincts. It was the best decision I have ever made. I casually walk to the stairwell which is around the corner from the elevator. I walk in and the second I'm out of sight and the door closed, I begin to run up those stairs as fast as I can. Now, back then I was fairly athletic. I did a lot of sports in my free time so it didn't win me too bad to run up those stairs. About halfway up, I hear the stairwell door slam open and footsteps running up the stairs. I pause for a second, terrified, and look down the stairwell seeing the face of the guy staring up at me from the two floors below before he begins to run up them. I run as fast as I can up the remaining floors, my legs burning from how fast I was running, barely able to catch a breath. I finally get to my friend's floor and exit the stairwell. I get to her door and begin to pound on her door, crying and begging her to let me in. She opens the door pretty confused and I run inside, slamming the door behind me. So there I am crying and shaking as she gets the story out of me. Her older brother who was a 20 year old guy and built really big heard all of this and he came out of his room to find out what the commotion was. He charged out of the flat and began to hunt the building for the guy but he couldn't find him anywhere. I never saw that man from the elevator ever again. I don't know what he wanted me for or what he planned to do if he caught me. But I'm really glad I never found out.